Hey everyone, this is Anna and thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm just doing a really quick video to show the type of uh, Gamsol or odorless mineral spirits that I use when I use colored pencils. Um, so I thought this would be helpful since several people have asked. I use Gamblin uh, version of Gamsol and I believe Gamsol may be uh, trademarked by them. It looks like it might be. Um, but it's just an odorless mineral spirit and normally people use it to thin oil colors or to clean their brushes, uh, do a little bit of studio cleanup, thing, things like that. Um, it is combustible and harmful or fatal if swallowed, so if you do have this product, keep it out of the hands and reach of any little ones in your household. I keep it um, on a top shelf in the bathroom cabinet, even though we don't have children, I just keep it up there as just a safe spot uh, in the bathroom. Um, so that's uh, the product that I use. Um, this is a one liter plastic bottle and um, I think I got this a few years ago at the um, local art supply store and it looks like I um, got it on sale. So, um, but that's what the bottle looks like. Um, they do have smaller um, sizes as well. You can also use the odorless mineral spirits um, by like Grumbacher, you know, companies like that too. You're just looking for a really an odorless mineral spirit for this process. Uh, you can even use baby oil, um, but I prefer the actual odorless mineral spirit. For my desk, I actually keep it in a small glass jar. This is a glass jar. I'm thinking it was either a repurposed jelly jar or I may have actually picked this, this jar up at the art supply store as well. Um, it has a um, little seal at the top, uh, like you would get if you know you bought a little jam jar from the store where they use that as the seal. Um, but this is really important because if the jar ever were to tip, then it won't leak. So inside, let me put this back on. Uh, inside, I have a, one of those little yellow sponges just cut down to fit inside the jar. And then on top of that, I have a six millimeter piece of foam um, that I've added to the top. And the reason I did that was I wanted the, gums, the Gamsol to be available to me when I pressed on the foam, but I wanted it to fall back below the surface of the foam when I wasn't applying any pressure to it. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so when there's no pressure on it, it's you know pretty much a dry looking, damp looking, I suppose, uh, piece of foam. And if it were to tip sideways, of course it would leak out, but it kind of acts like a little cap. Um, and so then when I push on the foam, the Gamsol then can come up to the surface and saturate into my um, tortillion or pencil stub, paper stub. Um, so, and then when I relieve the pressure, of course, the Gamsol goes back below the, the for surface of the foam. So I just really like that. I don't know if this really evaporates all that quickly, um, you know, and it's an odorless, so it's not gonna have any vapors, um, but I just liked the idea of being able to cap it and keep as much of it inside the jar as possible when I'm using it. So let's do a little experiment. I've stamped this dog four times on a piece of uh, Nina uh, cream colored cardstock. It's not solar white, but it's a cream colored one. Um, the first dog is stamped in black memento ink. The second dog is stamped in black stays on ink, which is a solvent ink. The third dog is stamped in Versafine. And the fourth dog is stamped in black hybrid ink from Impression Obsession. So let's go ahead and see how uh, the Gamsol uh, interacts or doesn't interact with each of those four different inks. So I'm just gonna use the jar here and I have a um, stump that's got a relatively new end on it. And so there won't be any extra color transfer. I just want to get it nice and saturated. And let's give it a shot here. So this is the Memento ink. Here, let me zoom in a little bit for you. This is the Memento ink. And I don't see any traveling of that ink into the paper fibers. Get it damp again. Move on to the stays on ink. And again, I don't see I don't see any travel of the um, stamped image into the paper fibers. So there's no bleeding. 
I think I'll do the hybrid ink um, next just because the VersaFine is a, a slightly heavier ink. It might pick up onto the paper stump. So there's the hybrid ink. I don't, don't see any feathering there either or bleeding. And then last is the VersaFine ink. And I did not heat set this either. And they've only been stamped for maybe three or four minutes, maybe five minutes. And there's no bleeding there either. So all four of those inks work really well with, um, with the Gamsol. Let me go ahead and show you, if you've never seen what it does to a colored pencil, I'll go ahead and color the heart um, of this particular dog. And uh, I'll show you what the Gamsol does to the pigment, the pencil pigments. So I'll just use a couple colored pencils. This one is uh, Scarlet Lake from Prismacolor. I'll just lay down a light color of the pencil. And then I'll apply a slightly darker red um, to that left edge. This is a um, dark red from Polychromo. And I'll just lay that on that left side. And I think I have a um, paper stump that has red on it already, so I'll go ahead and use that one. And I'm just gonna make sure the pencil stub is, or the uh, paper stub is nice and damp. And starting, um, if you start on the, the heavier um, pigment side, you can pull that color all the way over. Uh, if you start, I always like to start where the pigment's just a little bit lighter, so if I can I can uh, keep my highlights, and then I work towards that darker color. And then if you want to work your highlights a little bit more, just make sure you're using a side of the stump that doesn't have all that pigment on it. There, super cute. So it works really nice. Um, it's one of my favorite coloring mediums because it's so relaxing. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. But thanks again for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great rest of your evening. Goodbye.